you need to stop using your real email address to sign up for accounts. Just like you can use randomly generated passwords, you can also use randomly generated emails. In this video, I'm going to explain what email aliases are, what the advantages are to using them, and how you can start using them with your accounts. So what could you possibly do other than enter your email address to sign up for an account? Well, you have to enter an email address, but instead of using your real email, you should use an email alias. And no, I'm not talking about creating a burner email that you only use to create accounts. That's a hassle and you're still going to have to check that email regularly to get updates on your accounts. The solution is to use an email alias. These are randomly generated emails that forward mail to your primary email. You can use a unique alias for each account and you can disable specific aliases at any time. But why would you want to use an email alias in the first place? Well, an alias is one of the most effective ways to manage spam mail. Have you ever signed up for a new account and stated you don't want to join their email list only to be bombarded with marketing emails anyway? Some companies respect the unsubscribe button and some companies don't. But if you're using an email alias, you can go in and disable that specific alias to make sure you never get emails from that company again. This also can allow you to see which companies are selling your personal information. You can see exactly which alias mail is forwarded from. So if you notice you're getting a bunch of spam mail from some random company you've never heard of before, you can go in, see which alias is being used to receive that mail, see which account you signed up for with that alias, and then you know which company ended up selling your information. Email aliases also make it impossible to cross-reference your email address with accounts on other websites, and this keeps all of your accounts more secure. Typically, if one website gets compromised, hackers try that same email and password on other common websites. And even if you use a randomly generated password, if you're using your real email on each website, hackers instantly know which email address is associated with all of your accounts. So if you used a weak password for your Yahoo account, maybe you used a weak password for your Chase account too. With an email alias, if it gets leaked, that email address is useless on any other website. So instead of just having to guess your password, the hacker would have to guess your email address as well. But it's not impossible to hit that subscribe button. It's free to click subscribe and click the bell and you'll be notified of new videos. So it's clear that using an email alias has many advantages, but which service should you use to accomplish this? There are quite a few options for this. You can use a dedicated email alias service like Addy.io or Firefox Relay, or you can take advantage of email alias solutions built into products like password managers or email providers. Some email hosts like Skiff and Fastmail offer email aliases as a feature, meaning you can conveniently generate email aliases without the need for a third-party service. Fastmail integrates with Bitwarden and 1Password, so you can generate an alias in your password manager just like you generate a random password. Even Apple has an email alias feature that's part of their iCloud Plus subscription. But before picking whatever service is most convenient, it's important to consider the longevity of the service you pick. If you use an integrated solution from a provider like Skiff or Fastmail, you're tied to these email hosts for the long run. If you ever want to switch email providers in the future, things get messy with your email aliases. That's why I favor using a dedicated service like Addy.io. This way, you're completely disconnected from your password manager and your email host, and you can change both of these services up down the road and your email aliases will not be affected. You really don't want to be in a position where you have to change email alias providers. That's going to be a massive headache that will require you to change emails across dozens or even hundreds of accounts. So with all that in mind, I think using a reliable, dedicated email alias service like Addy.io is a good solution. Addy.io offers on limited standard aliases for free. And if you want advanced features like multiple recipients, custom domains, and filtering rules, you can get the premium version for $12 a year. Addy.io integrates with Bitwarden, and while I wish it integrated with more password managers and services, they do make it simple to use. Once you create your account, you are given a dedicated alias domain with your username. Mine is christiantaylor.anonaddy.com. I can instantly create an email alias by inventing an email address on my domain. 
So if I'm signing up for Instagram, I could just put Instagram at christiantaylor.anonaddy.com. The first time Addy gets an email through this address, it'll officially create the alias in the system. This allows you to quickly sign up for new sites using unique aliases for each site without having to log into Addy to create the alias each time. This is super useful if you want to make up aliases on the fly without any time or effort involved. However, the downside to this solution is that the second half of the email address stays the same, so it could theoretically be traced back to you. Someone would at least know that these two accounts accounts belong to the same individual. To negate this, Addy allows you to create truly unique random email aliases on a shared domain name. This offers the most privacy, but to set it up, you do have to manually log into Addy and generate an email alias each time. This is still very efficient thanks to the Addy Chrome extension and mobile apps. Once you have your email aliases set up, you can send mail from any alias and reply back through an alias with the premium version. You can also view rich statistics on the volume of email you're sending and receiving through all of your aliases. It's possible to create rules, which act as filters with conditions and actions. You can say that all mail sent to a specific alias will get a certain subject line or not be forwarded to your main email at all. This feature requires a premium subscription, and I can't think of a common use for it. Addy.io offers the best value for free of any of the common email alias services. You can also explore alternatives like Firefox Relay or Simple Login, but both of these services do not offer unlimited aliases in the free version like Addy.io offers. Now, the biggest risk to using one of these services would be that it gets shut down or they significantly increase the price to where it's no longer a viable option. So to mitigate this risk, you could host your email aliases on a custom domain. That way, if you do have to change providers, you don't have to log into all of your accounts and change all of your alias addresses. But this risk factor is the reason I recommend Addy.io in particular. The founder has a legacy plan in place and recommends using a custom domain just for the extra peace of mind. If you opt to use a custom domain with Addy.io, you need the $12 a year plan, but connecting it is simple. You'll just add the TXT and MX records to your DNS solution of choice. You can do this at your domain registrar, but I'd recommend the extra step of using Cloudflare's free plan. I've got an entire setup guide for Cloudflare that you can check out here.